the weekend of February 12th, we sought um, from the city manager's office through Kim Ayot, could he help us get an understanding of whether or not any trucks were being moved out of the residential precinct uh, because people who were not in the precinct were reporting on the issue. Uh, we had no way of finding out um, whether or not uh, trucks were moving. Um, and I asked him if there was a way to get uh, that information in the morning. Obviously, there was a huge amount of pressure uh, on the mayor, on all members of council, on the city, writ large, to get some progress. Um, and by around 10, 11 o'clock, as we were having no success in getting any big can tell, I would ask uh, Mr. Ayat, can you tell me how many trucks are moving? And he would say, well, um, 12 trucks have moved. And I said, well, that, that only 12 trucks? Well, he said, I'm, I'm, I'm not sure. People are sending me text messages from the field. Okay, great. So we sent an employee of our office to take pictures that morning. Um, because there was just so much politics going around in relation to the removal of trucks. And these pictures will show that there are large swaths of the downtown core that were being cleared and notwithstanding the, the Rubik's Cube that had been described, um, well, clearly they got truck A to move and truck B. C, D, E, F, G, and 
from what we could tell from, from photos from the media from before, there are 25, 30 trucks in this precinct. Um, Mr. Ayot contacted me, I think, maybe around noon, saying, well, unfortunately, we only moved 40 trucks. And I said, well, from the photographic evidence, there's seems to have been a lot, lot more that were removed. And then he came back to me saying, I'm sorry, we're apparently um, the people doing the count were only counting. Rigs. So the, you know, the mid-sized delivery vans, the can par type vehicle, the small uh, Jura van type vehicle was not being counted. Um, that's all I can say. We, we had poor intel. He had poor intel. Uh, the mayor was being asked, being bombarded on media. This is failing. From what we could tell, from the amount of time that they had to move trucks, if someone was stopping it, it could not be discerned from what we were provided in terms of intel. There are other streets where we see, um, yeah, we is can this O'Connor? I think that's. I think that looks like bank personally. Okay. Well, well, I mean, <laughs> I'm not I, sure I, this is very useful if nobody knows, nobody can identify. We do have a record of that. The, <laughs> it was the there, there there is just, If you could just let me finish, please. Apologies. I think what we would need is to know what time these pictures were taken, where they were taken from, what they depict by someone who knows. I'm just trying to make sure that's what would be useful for the commission. Mr. Arpin, can you provide further clarification for the commissioner on the timing of the uh, pictures? I believe that that was provided to, uh, to council uh, when the pictures were provided uh, on a street by street basis, time and location. Yes, that's... That's helped, but um, just in terms of if you can situate the commissioner, and I think what he's referring to is the metadata will in fact review the the, reveal the dates that these pictures were taken. Oh. I'm asking the witness to provide okay. evidence to the commissioner on his knowledge as to when these pictures were taken. Commissioner, is that acceptable? Do you know when they were I taken? Do. Yeah, no, we're trying to get understand. Absolutely. Um, they were taken the morning of the Monday, um, roughly an hour and a half into, I would say around 10.45 to 11.15, the morning that, that the, uh, the truck convoy representatives were expected to start uh, honoring their commitment to start moving trucks. And we sent someone physically to take photos because we could not get uh, a corroboration of how many trucks were being moved on a, a street by street basis. Um, so if we can see another one, I think I'll recognize the street. And my impression is that, uh, I mean, we provided the, the street names, Commissioner. Can we uh, scroll to the next photo, please? Can you identify where this is, Mr. Alpay? Uh, I believe that that's uh, O'Connor looking north to Parliament. We can see the parliamentary precinct. Um, and my recollection is that that is a uh, uh, Albert Street, where uh, everyone knows where the National Bank uh, is located. So we could see that there was some progress. We can't see south of Albert. We're seeing there are no trucks left between Albert and Parliament when the day before, there were trucks side by side blocking that entire street. And so the, con the contention that it failed, I just think it is premature. We don't know. We can't say it failed because we it unfolded over too short a period of time. Can we look at the next photo, please?
Can you my identify My understanding this? that that is bank north to, you can see the corner of the Confederation block on the left, uh, upper left, and that is bank, completely cleared of vehicles and re, we can see a police vehicle now um, that is uh, at, the, uh, at the pylon, and that is showing no trucks from um, the corner of Meridian to, uh, to uh, Wellington. There are no trucks. There are no truck convoy trucks on that street in the morning of February um, 15th. Next page, I believe please. that's the right date. Can you identify this photo, Mr. Alpine? <laughs> Metcalf at Queen and Albert looking north. There's not a single truck from the truck convoy um, between uh, that street and Parliament. And Next photo, please. Mr. Alpe, can you identify this location? I'm sorry, I cannot, but I'm sure that we, uh, that OPS can corroborate what street that is. Uh, I think that's all the photos and all of my questions for you, Mr. Alpay. Thank you very much.